Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the St. Bernard Acres channel. This is Wednesday, May 11th, hump day. This is going to be kind of a rant video, I suppose. Um, so, <laughs> let me get the niceties out of the way. Beautiful weather we got. It sucks I have to work. Um, I have to work tomorrow. Then Friday, I'm building a railing out here on the a new railing on the deck in the back. And then Saturday, I'm going to go out to the cabin and spend the weekend out there. Do some more paneling and whatever else I can get myself into. But I uh, hope everybody's having a good week. I have I don't know what's going on with Lowe's anymore. I know things are changing. Um, and not so much for the good. <laughs> In my opinion, I, it's almost like thanks to the government, thanks to all this free money everybody got and still getting and not working, you know, Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, Menards, they all had record the last couple of years, record profit for every quarter. And I don't know, maybe they got too greedy or something. I have shopped at this Lowe's here. It's about 10 blocks from my house since they've opened. And I've always enjoyed, you know, the military discount that they offer. You know, they really heavily promote that 10% off to veterans and veterans' families and active duty military. Well, now they're changing that. But... Service has not been the best there. And it's really weird because during the years, I've applied for part-time work there. My son has, Gail has. We're relatively intelligent, hardworking people. We've None of us have ever even gotten a phone call, right? Or an email response. And then we see some of the people they hire. It's like, holy cow, what am I doing? But... Something, what brought this up was Sunday, I was over there doing some shopping, and I wanted to buy a Craftsman tire inflator. Now, I bought it. These things are, like, really cool, you know? I love this thing, and I, it was $80, you know, I mean, to me, it's worth it. I'm not going to do a review on it, because there's hundreds of them out there. But I like it, and I'm happy I got it. Problem number one is I went over to the tool section with Gail, and I found it. Right, it, They're locked up behind cages now. And I finally found an associate because they are very hard to find at Lowe's anymore. Well, she came over. I pointed out which one I wanted. She opened up the cage. She took the box out and she said, are you t still shopping? And Gail said, well, yeah. And she said, well, what register are you going to check out at? And Gail's like, what? I, you know, whichever one has the lowest line probably or maybe self-checkout depending on what I buy. And they wouldn't give it to us, right? We had to leave a name and they took it up to the self-checkout location, the lady up there. And when Gail finished shopping, she had to go to self-checkout to ask to get the thing. And then they took it to the register and they scanned it in. I don't understand it, you know. Maybe that's just the way they've become. I don't know. Maybe it's my Lowe's. I, what's your Lowe's like? I know it's a big store. So I had ordered some lumber. Uh, for this railing project out here. A 4x4 four four post, some 2 fours, and some screws. Ridiculous price, right? But I didn't get a military discount. I got a military discount on the screws. And I'm going to show you if I can. Um, okay. Okay. This is my order. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. 
Probably not. Um, if you notice the price there of the screws or of the lumber, it has LCC discount. Right? Now the screws, which I had to return because they were the wrong ones, um, that I got a military discount on. You see the price was $31.48. I got $3.5 discount. But the lumber, I only got, look at the post. It was $20 and I only got a dollar something. Boy, this sucks. Only got it, there we go. Only got a dollar something discount. So I'm like, what's going on? You know, what is the deal here? Um, Gail spent $140 in there and got a $1.90 discount with her military discount. She got a total of a dollar, including this. She paid for this. So it's like, what's going on? Why is, where's the military discount at? So I get home. You can't talk to anybody there because they have no idea, you know. So I did some a little bit of research, and here is the update to the military discount. You can pause this and read it if you want, but I'm going to read you part of it. Or I'm going to read you that paragraph. The military discount can only be applied to eligible purchases. Used to apply to everything, right? You can't apply it to on sale items. So now, if an item is marked like those two before is for 3% off, well, I couldn't use my 10% military discount, only the 3%. Um, it can't be used on any services. No more can it be used on major appliances or parts and accessories to those appliances it can't be used on commodities such as but not limited to electrical cable electrical wire dimensional lumber plywood osb or gift cards lowe's is a lumber store we can't use our discount on lumber you know, I, I, it's like they're phasing out this whole thing they built part of their reputation on was the support of veterans and how much they appreciate what veterans did. And you have a 10% discount every day, right? That is totally being phased out. Now, the discount I did get, that LCC discount you saw, like a dollar on the post, that's because I used my Lowe's credit card to pay for it. That I get 5% off of. You know, so they, they're still doing that with the Lowe's credit card. Um, but they've pretty much eliminated the veteran's discount. But they're not going to tell you that. They're going to keep telling you you get 10% off of some items. You know, and that list of some items is getting narrower and narrower every day. So... Just something I wanted to bring to y'all's attention. And ask, is it my store that's doing this? Or is this is it happening at your stores? Because I know a lot of you are military veterans and you shop at Lowe's and you've taken advantage of that 10% discount just like I have. You know? And when can't you go in and pick up a tool and take it to the counter and pay for it? Now they've got to take it out of a case and take it to the counter for you. It's getting too crazy. They want you to do everything online. And now I could have ordered this through the app. And uh, they'd, they'd put it in a locker. And I go into this wall of lockers and scan my code and it opens up a locker. And there'll be my, my inflator in there. And I just turn around and walk out. That's what they want to try to get it to, I'm sure. Um, and I don't mind shopping that way. This happened to be, Gail had a gift card for Lowe's. You know, some people send us gift cards. And she had a gift card that she wanted to use. 
that's what she bought. So we couldn't do that. Well, I'm sure we could have done it online, but she wanted to shop. Gail likes to shop and find other things. She went to get an eighty dollar <laughs> tire inflator and spent one hundred forty bucks. <laughs> so that that's what they're losing out on. If they want everybody to do everything online, then there will be no. Uh, what do they call that? You know, they have everything out, point of sale, merchandise, and spur of the moment buying. There won't be any more of that. Once they kick us out of the store and make us just order everything online, they bring it out to us. They lose all of that extra money. You know, they need to think about that. While I'm on this subject, let me also mention Menards. The paneling for the cabin, I bought at Menards because I really like that paneling. Menards advertises everything is 11% off or you get a rebate of 11%. Okay, great. I went to Menards. If you use your card, your Menards card, you don't have to fill out the paperwork, I guess, for the rebates. But it's not like getting an 11% rebate. What you get is an 11% credit that can only be used at Menards. So they're advertising 11% off of everything every day. But that's how it works. If you go in and you pay, you pay full price for everything. You take your receipt, you get the form, you fill it out, you make a copy of the receipt, you mail it in. And you wait six to eight weeks for an 11% voucher to come back to you that you can only take to Menards and spend. That's not 11% off of everything, you know, in my book. It's a twist of words. It's, you know, it's what a politician would do. <laughs> That's how bad it is. And I don't have anything to say about Home Depot because we don't shop there. Because the closest one's about 30 miles away in Washington. It's not that I have anything against them. It's just Lowe's is right down the street and Menards is up in Tridelphia. So I haven't had a need to go out to Home Depot yet. I don't have anything to complain about them yet. They gave me a really nice deal on a store credit card with free interest, interest free for whatever. I've never even used it yet. I don't even know if it's still active. I got it a couple of years ago. And never got around to using it. But Lowe's is really getting sour to me. And it's too bad because it's kind of like Walmart. It's the only game in town. You know, and I have to go there. Now, I ordered the lumber online. They emailed me when it was ready. And I went and picked it up. And I will say this for them. If I bought 13 8-foot 2 befores. Treat it. They were nice and straight boards. I had no complaint whatsoever about the boards. Uh, the post was nice. They used to have the absolute crappiest lumber ever. This doesn't look too bad. I bought all that lumber for the bridge and the rails out at the cabin. And it was good lumber. I mean, I'm not complaining about their lumber anymore. I'm complaining about, number one, their prices. But also... The way they're doing away with our discount and, you know, making it, you know, what's going to attract us to shop there. They don't want to give you the 10% discount, so they'll have a sale with something 2% off. Guess what? Nobody gets a discount then. You know, they get to say it's on sale. They get to still promote themselves as veteran friendly and 10% off everything every day for the veterans because that's how they promoted this thing. And they're just slowly, it's eroding away. I just wanted to bring that up, see if you guys would notice that on your end. Obviously, I'm still going to shop there. <laughs> I have to go to Menards. I haven't got my, I spent 320 some dollars on that paneling. By my calculation, I should get about $40, some kind of a voucher for about $40 from Menards. I haven't got it yet. I got to go buy another $150 worth of that paneling. Not 11% off. You know, I hope that in a couple, three months, I get a coupon or a voucher I can take to Menards if there's ever anything up there I want. You know, 
but uh, it's like you guys can test this out too. This I thought very strange. I have, you know, estimated out projects and figured out costs for things. And I said, okay, this is where I'm going to go. And, you know, three or four days later, I go to order the stuff. Well, the price has gone up. I'm like, well, crap, I'll look at Lam uh, Menards. Exact same price. Well, let's look at Home Depot. Exact same price. Whatever one goes up to, the other two go up the exact same amount. Is that collusion? <laughs> Are they in this together? But you cannot comparison shop because it's all exactly the same. They have that one figured out, you know. Lowe's is advertising 10% off to veterans, which you don't get. Menards is advertising 11% off. Everything's on sale for 11% off every day, which is not a 11% off sale. You know, if you take the time and you wait, you can get a voucher rebated back to you for 11%. It's all trickery, folks. Just like politicians. Go figure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little chat. I enjoyed it. Got a little bit off my chest. Let me know what you think about how they're doing this stuff. And if your Lowe's or your Menards acts the same way. I don't know if it's a local thing. You know. Uh, they used to have big you know, sales, you could go in, you guys remember the guys have been with my channel, the doors I bought and windows and things I bought that were marked down ridiculously returns. They don't do any of that anymore. There are no more, you know, Saturday morning specials where you can go in and they'll have something marked down ridiculous. Say, Look, I could give you this for it. And the manager's like, okay, none of that anymore. I think they had so much profit for two years that it made them greedy, greedier. Now they don't want to give away any discounts because they, we have proven to them no matter what they charge, somebody's going to buy it. We've got all these apartment buildings going up around here. I, load, I see Lowe's dropping off truckloads of lumber. You know, there are no shortages, you know. The, the only shortage that any of these places have is compassion. You know, so that's my rant. Like I said, this weekend I'll be out at, uh, out of St. Bernard Acres for the weekend. I have another video, some hodgepodge stuff I'm going to put together. My first bike ride, some stuff with Max and, uh, caught a UFO on the ring camera. Maybe I'll let you see that kind of stuff. I'll put that together later and upload it this week. But remember to like, share, comment. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Merchandise in the bottom that I'm still trying to work on. Uh, that's about it, folks. Hope you have a good week. See you this weekend. I'm out.